Hi there, this is a demo experiment for the measurement of the half-life of Barium-137M. At the same time, I will demonstrate elution as a method for production of radioisotope. Let's start! The radioactive half-life is just the amount of time it takes for half of that substance to undergo decay. To measure the activity, I will be using a Geiger-Muller tube, which is a gas-filled chamber with electrodes kept at a high voltage to detect ionizing radiation. We set up the Geiger counter as shown. We set the voltage of the GM tube to its optimal operating voltage which is around 900 volts. From the preset menu, uh, we set the runs to 0 and preset time to 30 seconds. Then we run without a radioactive source to determine our background level. Okay, now after running the setup for 30 seconds, we were able to get 17 counts as our background level. Now we have this isotope generator. Then this eluant made out of a solution of hydrochloric acid and sodium chloride. This isotope generator setup uh, contains a salt made out of radioactive cesium-137 that decays to a stable and most of the time a metastable barium-137 through beta decay. We can easily extract barium-137 from cesium-137 salt through elution. Uh, using an eluant, which is uh, that solution. We let the solution to flow in the generator uh, as shown here. When we say metastable, it means that the nuclei have excess energy that will be released through gamma ray. This type of decay is also called isomeric transition. So now I am preparing the eluant. We can easily extract barium-137 from cesium-137 salt through elution using an eluant which is just a solution of hydrochloric acid and sodium chloride. We let the solution to flow in the isotope generator. This is also used in technetium 99M production wherein molybdenum-99 decays to technetium 99M and an isotonic saline called eluant is added to the column to extract the daughter, which is technetium 99M, called the eluate. In this experiment, uh, we will use our eluting solution and to extract barium 137M from cesium 137 salt. Okay, now we obtain 10 to 12 drops of barium 137M from the isotope generator. Now we set the total number of runs to 31 and our applied voltage is still 900 volts. The counter is now running and as we can observe, we are getting a number of counts of about 2,000 already. Okay, now we are done with our data acquisition. Let us now check the number of counts per run using the button here in the software. The graph shows an exponentially decreasing number of counts as a function of run. This is the second trial for this experiment using the same setup. As we can observe, uh, we have lower count rate and at the same time more error due to statistical fluctuations.